Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's Super BT 2027, and in today's video, I've built for you guys a VR4 engine. That's right, an engine with four pistons. So as you can see, there's two pistons on this side, and there's two pistons on this side. Now you may be wondering, what is a VR4 engine? As you can see, the connecting rods are oriented in a V shape, but that has nothing to do with the name. VR is actually an abbreviation for a German word, which stands for, um, I don't even remember what it stands for, but it's a mix between a V engine and an inline engine. And I chose this engine because I, I thought it would be a good point, well, a good kind of engine to make instead of an inline engine, and it wouldn't be too complex. So, as you can see, the crankshaft is down here. It's all connected to one crankshaft. And it does have um, a two-stud displacement going up and down. As opposed to my last engine, which has four studs. So, this engine has a little bit less torque, but the smaller displacement going up and down... The smaller uh, crankshaft length, or whatever, that makes it have more speed. So, there's two pistons here. One, and two. And then there's two valves. Right here, and right here. And then two more valves on the right side. Right here, and right here. And then finally, there's two pistons. Right here. And then there's one right here. And I did end up using the performance pistons that KF Plus Mastery designed. Well, I don't know if he designed them, but I saw them on his channel. Because I, want, I wanted this engine to be as fast and as powerful as possible. Now, with that being said, I did have to super glue the pistons, unfortunately. Because normal glue wasn't working as well. The piston still came apart. And I also used duct tape here and on the back. So that there would be as little air leakage as possible. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this engine running. Anyway, let's get to it. Look how much it vibrates at idle. 